genetics and genomics interfaces with social and behavioral research in a lot of ways. I tend to think about it in terms of the healthcare encounter. Um, so I think it's kind of a two-way street in that the genomic information and development that is occurring now informs behavioral, um, behavioral science research, or really it sort of triggers behavioral science research. Um, there are all kinds of issues that are arising now. There's hereditary testing, uh, testing for hereditary cancers, for example, um, and that creates all sorts of potential um, social issues that people then need to go in and, and try and figure out how to address. But then on the other side, behavioral and social science can I think really um, shape the way that we might want to um, roll out some of these genomic discoveries and how we might want to translate them into the clinic. Um, because if we can do the kind of work we're doing here where we try and anticipate the future, you know, in some sense and figure out what will be the best way to translate the genomic information, well then that is something that we can use um, to kind of shape the, the translation efforts that occur um, from the, the basic science side in some sense.